The drive shift is one of those things nobody ever pays any attention to until it gives you trouble. And in our case, the trouble was a high frequency, highway speed vibration on our box truck that we're getting ready to take a cross country trip in. So I assumed, because it usually is a bad U joint, it's usually the front U joint. You know, the, the joint itself will go bad and it'll spin the shift just slightly out of, you know, sync with the yoke. And that'll give you that as you're driving on the road. But we climbed underneath and you know, both of your joints were in good shape. We grabbed the, the drive shaft, gave it a wiggle, and there was a lot of play at the yoke. So that generally means bad tail shift bushing. Um, the tail shift bushing is, um, here, come over here. The tail shift bushing sits right about here, inside the tail shaft of the training, and that's what the yoke rides against. Holds everything steady. So when the bushing goes bad, you'll be able to take the, the, the yoke and move it back and forth. So that's what we had. We were getting ready to take the tail shaft off, change out the bushing. And then we realized when we unbolted the drive shaft that it slid way forward. Or in other words, instead of the yoke sitting in the tail shaft the way it should be right about there, it was actually right about there. So it wasn't grabbing the full length of the bushing and that was given excessive play. The solution to this, extend the drive shaft. So along the way, oh, somebody changed the drive shaft on this thing and they put one in that was just a little bit too short. So uh, I guess the, the solution to, is to lengthen it. The last one of them I tried to do without a jig, tried to turn itself into a pretzel about 50 miles down the road. So I dropped it off of my buddy Chuck Yoders and he's lengthening the thing for us now. Uh, but at any rate, Drive shaft length. So how do you determine drive shaft length? Let's go back to this thing. Length is always determined center to center, meaning that uh, forget about the overall, the actual overall length of the shaft and, and the yoke. That doesn't come into play. Drive shafts are mentored from the center of the front cap to the center of the back cap. So when somebody says, how long is a drive shaft? That's the measurement they're looking for. Getting that measurement is a little bit of a pain in the ass, you know, because it's like, well, you know, I gotta go from the center of this one to the center of this one. But the easiest way to do this is go from, hook your tape measure to the bottom of that cap and measure to the bottom of that cap. In this case, it's like 46 and a quarter inches. So that'll give you your center to center length on the shaft. Now, how do you determine what's the right length for your car? So. Let's go over here to this Barracuda and I'll show you how you do that. Um, I need props. I need a yoke. And I need a yoke. Okay. So here's your front yoke. Here's your back yoke. No, pretend it's attached to the rear end. So the first thing you want to do is jack the car up from the axle. Don't jack it from the body, it has to be jacked from the axle because you want this relationship to be the same as when the car is sitting on the ground and loaded, you know. Um, so let's just say the car is a bare shell, put enough weight into the car to simulate how much weight is going to be and what's the interior and the gas tank and all that other thing. But essentially you want to make sure that the rear end is sitting in the same plane it's going to be when the car is sitting on the ground. Two reasons for that. The first is that the pinion right, or the, 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 the front of the rear end is always pointed downward slightly. So when you accelerate, it raises, and when it raises, it shortens the distance to the drive shaft. Also, drive shafts are generally, almost always, installed in the car at an angle that goes down to the rear end. So when you hit a bump and this comes up some, it again shortens the distance of the drive shaft. So here's how you make the measurement on this. You take your yoke, you slide it into the transmission until it bottoms out. Then you pull it back approximately an inch um, using the diameter of the bearing cup is, is a good ballpark. But generally it's about an inch. So slide this into the transmission till, it's, till it bottoms out, slide it back approximately the diameter of the, the cup. And that's where the yoke is going to sit in the transmission. Then you got your rear end yoke. So then you take a measurement from the back of the cup saddle on the rear yoke to the back of the cup opening 
on the front yoke. And that is going to be your drive shaft length center to center. So that's it. Simple stuff. Hope you found it useful. I'll see you tomorrow.